Welcome to the Basic Science Series, your source for discussions on cutting-edge topics in basic sciences. I'm your host, Lokendra Kumar, and today we will understand ferroptosis, a relatively new and interesting form of regulated cell death. In this episode, we will explore the molecular mechanisms, cellular consequences, and potential therapeutic applications of ferroptosis. So, without any delay, let's get started. Ferroptosis is a non-apoptotic form of cell death characterized by the accumulation of lipid peroxides, particularly polyunsaturated fatty acids called PUFA. It was first described in 2012 as an important pathway in various physiological and pathological contexts. Let's delve deep into the details. Ferroptosis involves the dysregulation of cellular iron metabolism and antioxidant defense systems. The complex interplay of several key players organize this process. One of the central regulators is the enzyme called glutathione peroxidase 4, in short GPX4, which helps eliminate lipid peroxides and maintain cellular redox balance. Another critical component in ferroptosis is the iron-dependent enzyme system called lipoxygenase pathway. This pathway utilizes iron to catalyze the oxidation of PUFA, generating reactive lipid species that can promote ferroptotic cell death. The delicate balance between prooxidant and antioxidant molecules tightly controls the occurrence of ferroptosis. For example, the cysteine glutamate antipotor system plays a crucial role and it imports cysteine into the cell in exchange for glutamate, which is essential for the synthesis of glutathione. And the glutathione is an oxidant that helps counteract the lipid peroxidation process. Now let's explore the broader significance of ferroptosis. Although still an active area of research, ferroptosis has been implicated in various physiological and pathological processes. For instance, it has been linked to neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, as well as acute kidney injury and liver diseases. Furthermore, several anti-cancer therapies exploit ferroptosis induction as a potential strategy against cancer cells. Tumor cells often exhibit alterations in iron metabolism and antioxidant systems, making them susceptible to ferroptosis. This has led to the development of novel therapeutics or novel therapeutic approaches including small molecule inhibitors and activators of ferroptosis which are currently under investigation. Alright, let's conclude all the points. Ferroptosis represents a novel and fascinating form of regulated cell death with implications in various physiological and pathological contexts. The dysregulation of cellular iron metabolism, antioxidant defense system, and lipid peroxidation are key players in this particular process. Understanding the molecular mechanisms of ferroptosis may provide new therapeutic avenues for diseases that involve oxidative stress and cell death. All right, with that note, I must say that this concludes the today's episode on ferroptosis. We hope this discussion has shed light on this complex and fascinating topic. As always, keep exploring the frontiers of biology and stay curious. Stay tuned for our next video where we will explore another stimulating topic in the world of biosciences. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep pushing the boundaries of knowledge. Thank you.